consternation when I set up here. You're like, oh, you have to jump us to the advanced. <laughs> no, not at all. In fact, uh, I'm just going to work on posture for a moment so you oh, can yeah. breathe. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, most people who sit at computers are. And in fact, a lot of the work that I do with people who have been in the corporate world, people who sit at desks a lot. So, one thing you can actually do today and then keep doing is roll your shoulders and then place them back. Oh, ow. Oh, ow. Because you're not that far back. <laughs> okay. Yeah. It was, I heard it was weird <laughs> cracking. Yeah, off. I did. So, you want to sit up straight. Okay. So, like, kind of move your, move back and forth until you feel like your sit bones are grounded into that blanket and then you're sitting up straight and then just gently roll, gently roll the shoulders down and then rest straight. Now what you want to do is rest your hands on each knee so it takes the pressure off of the shoulders. Okay. And then just totally relax everything that you don't need. Yeah, there you go. And you know, just slightly and then relax the jaw, relax the cheekbones there. And do you have any pain that's like right in this little area I want to press here? No, not too much. Okay, so you don't hold your stress down, get some uh, hold I your stress right here. Yeah. Okay, so really pressing down on these, this place right here in the traps. Mm -hmm. And you don't have to really force them down, just place them down and leave them there. Yeah, there you go. The reason why that feels uncomfortable is that you're so used to driving like this. And sitting like this, uh -huh. what you want to do is just place them back. Women even have a harder time because they've got to hold up a little bit extra there. So when they actually place that down and you use the table or what's in front of you, which is your knees, to press just slightly up, you're going to feel that some of that weight of holding yourself up is relieved. That's what you want. You want that to become more natural. Notice how when you place the chest up, then freeze your belly to free. So that's what we're going to work on next. So take a deep breath in through your belly. Notice when I inhale, I'm inflating here, and then exhale, pull that belly button into the spine. I'm just going to watch your belly then. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale and bring it up a little bit higher. Don't move your shoulders, just from here and below. Bring it all the way up into the uh, clavicle area. And exhale. Sorry. You're going to get tired because you know what? You're actually putting more oxygen into your body than you're used to by breathing deeply. Inhale. And exhale. Let's try slowing your breath down. Do the Darth Vader breath. Have you ever heard of that? It's a Ujjayi breath or ocean sounding breath. You make this little constriction in the back of your throat. So whenever you go to yoga class, you hear people breathing like that. They're slowing their breath down. It also warms the body. It's very relaxing. This is the breath that if you did this for 15 minutes, it's equivalent to two hours of sleep. So if you're ever traveling somewhere and you can't get sleep and you really needed to hit the ground line, this is the breath you want to do. And notice that you can get that breath to slow down even more. Relax everything you don't need. Relax your hips. Good. There you go. See? Did you feel that just drop? Mm -hmm. Knees to just relax everything. Your hands gripping on your knees won't help you breathe. They're not grippy. <laughs> they were a second ago. The problem. I wasn't waiting that way. breath is like an elevator going up and down the architecture of your body. And when it goes to the top, yeah, don't try to stack it, just let the sound out. You've got to yawn, yawn. Um, when it hits the top, it 
It's hitting the top floor. You let it pause there. Let all the people out. And then exhale and drop that elevator down all the way to the base of the building. And you can almost, in your know, mind's eye, trace that pattern. It's actually an S curve, just like your spine. One more thing we're going to do with the breath is that you're going to do a falling asleep. You're going to take your thumb and your fourth finger of your dominant hand, place your thumb against one nostril, breathe in through the other. Breathe out. Now take your fourth finger and clip off the other nostril and breathe in through the opposite. <laughs> Breathe out and switch. that first breath, which was the Jirga breath, three-part breath, through all the parts of your body. And add on that Ujjayi breath, or ocean sound. your fingers, let the eyes raise up when you see your fingers, exhale down, eyes can come down, inhale up, eyes go up rather than your neck, so you're keeping your shoulders down, exhale, one more time, inhale, exhale down. You should feel a little lightheaded, yeah, mm -hmm. a little tiny bit, because again, you're getting more oxygen than you're used to. 